الله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد So I wanted to speak about the خصائص منهج النبوة the منهج of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and some of the special characteristics of that methodology and this is from a book by Sheikh Muhammad Rasulam Hafidhullah Ta'ala one of our scholars in Egypt the Sheikh said from the first characteristics الثبات على الحق وعدم التلون من مميزات منهج النبوة منهج السلف ثبات أهله على الحق وعدم التلون تقلبهم The Sheikh said that from the characteristics of Ahl Sunnah is that they are firm upon the truth and they are not quick changing they are not fickle and from the things that Ahl Sunnah that distinguishes them from other groups and distinguishes the methodology of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which is the methodology of the Salaf al-Saleh, the righteous predecessors is that they are firm upon the truth and they are not fickle, they are not quick changing وَأَمَّا أَهْلَ الْأَهْوَى فَإِنَّ الْوَاحِدَ مِنْهُمْ يُسْبِحُ عَلَى مِلَّةٍ وَيُذْهِرُ عَلَى مِلَّةٍ ويمسي على الملة وما يزال تقلب مع الأراء والأحواء لا يثبت على شيء لأنه لا شيء ثابت عنده وأما أهل السنة فعندهم الكتاب والسنة وهما حق الذي جاء به رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الشيخ يريد أن يقول as for the people of desires, meaning the people of innovation who follow their desires, that you'll find one from amongst them, that he, he uh, begins the day on a belief, or a methodology, or a minhaj, or a religion. And by the midday, he's on something else. And by the evening, he is on something else. And he does not cease to change in accordance with his desires, or desires in general, and opinions. And he's not firm upon anything. Because there isn't anything for him to be firm upon. As for Ahlul Sunnah, then they are firm upon the Quran and the Sunnah. And they are the truth which the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came with. وقال الشيخ حفظ الله تعالى قال تعالى يثبت الله الذين آمنوا بالقول الثابت في الحياة الدنيا وفي الآخرة ويدل الله والظالمين ويفعل الله ما يشاء Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this regard is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes the believers, makes those who believe firm and with a firm statement in this life, meaning they're upon firmness in this life, in their statements, as well as the hereafter. And Allah allows for the oppressive people or the sinful, sinful ones to be misguided. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does as he, he wishes. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Qala Sa'di, rahimahullah ta'ala, and this is one of the scholars of Shaykh Muhammad bin Saleh bin Uthaymeen, rahimahullah ta'ala. Imam Sa'di said, and in his, uh, his tafsir, he has an explanation of the Quran. Qal yukhbir ta'ala. أنه يثبت عباده المؤمنين أي الذين قاموا بما عليهم من الإيمان طيب التام الذي 
يستلزم وأعمال الجوارح ويثمرها ويثبتهم ويثبتهم الله في الحياة الدنيا عند ورود الشبهات والهداية إلى اليقين وعند عروض الشهوات بالأرادة الجازمة على تقديم ما يحبه الله على على الهوى النفس ومرادها الشيخ إمام سعدي سعد رحمه الله تعالى he says Allah سبحانه وتعالى in the above mentioned verse mentions that he makes firm the believing slaves أي those who do what uh, they, they act in accordance with their iman, with their faith in their hearts that is complete and this necessitates deeds of the limbs you know, doing actions and the fruits of that meaning your deeds are the fruits of what's in your heart and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes them firm in this life when shubahat, uh, when doubtful matters come. So in times of fitna, in times of great trials and tribulations, by giving them guidance and certainty. And also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes them firm when they're exposed to their desires. Wa'iyadun billah, may Allah protect us from our vain desires by giving them the determination to prefer what Allah loves over their own desires. Qala Shaykh wa fil akhirati inda al-mawt bi thabati al-deen al-islami wal khatimati al-hasana and in the hereafter Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the believers firmness in uh, at the time of death upon the religion of Islam and so that they may have a righteous ending that when they die they die upon goodness with al qadri in the su'al al malakain lil jawab al sahih and also in their graves when they are asked by the two angels by giving a correct response so this is also a part of the firmness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you firmness in this life as well as the hereafter as well as in the, the hereafter in the grave meaning the life of the grave that when we are asked by the two angels that the person who is a believer and Allah has given firmness then they will have correct answers. That this is the time when it is said to the person who is passed on. Who is your Lord? What is your religion? And who is your prophet? Allah will guide them to a correct to give a correct answer and a correct response. Sa'di said he said that Allah will give the believer a firm the believer will have a firm and correct response when he's asked in the grave because the believer will say Allah is my Lord and Islam is my religion and Muhammad is my prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then the shaykh mentioned the ayat we will do the law of Dalimi and that Allah allows the Oppressors to be misguided. Those wicked people who don't respond to guidance. And then the Shaykh explained that by saying, Anasawabi fi dunya al akhirah, that they'll be misguided by not being on what is correct in this life 
as well as the hereafter. And Allah does not misguide them. However, they misguide themselves. Wa'iyadun billah. Again, that shows us in the times of trial and fitna that we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's guidance. And this is the minhaj or methodology of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Qala Shaykh Rasulan, Hafid Allah Ta'ala, Shaykh Rasulan, he said, وَكَدْ أَمَنَ اللَّهَ النَّبِيُّهُ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ بِثَبَاتِ عَلَى الْحَقِّ الَّذِي هَدَاهُ إِلَيْهِ وَأَنْعَمَ بِهِ عَلَيْهِ فَقَالَ تَعَالَى وَعْبُوا رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ The Shaykh went on to say, Hafid Allah Ta'ala, he said that Allah has commanded his Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to be firm upon the truth which he has guided him to and given him blessings by you know that Allah has favored him with this guidance and Allah says and worship your Lord until certainty comes to you and certainty here means death it doesn't mean like those groups and those sects who claim that certainty here is until you will need, reach a certain level of Iman or faith. Because no one gets to that level. Have you preceded the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? No, of course not. So the people who say that they reached a level of uh, Iman or faith, that they've gotten certainty, that they no longer have to worship Allah, they are on Dalal, they are on falsehood, and they are Dalal, they are misguiding people. Wa'iyadun Billah. Waqal al Shaykh, Wa Amr al Mu'minin bima Amr al Mu'minin al Nabiyahu al Amin, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Waqal ta'ala, Fa astakum kama umurta. وَمَنْ تَابَ معك وَلَا تَطْغُوا إِنَّهُ إِنَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ بَصِيرٌ That the Shaykh went on to say that uh, the believers have been commanded with that which the Prophet وسلم, Al-Ameen, the truthful, the trustworthy, was commanded with Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the laws the Almighty says, straight, you know, walk straight, similar to the way you were commanded, and make repentance, and, and those who make repentance with you, and do not oppress, for verily he, meaning the law, is over, uh, is ever over you a watcher, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees everything. فَمِنْ مِنْ مَيْزَاتُ الْمِنْهَجِ نَبُوَّ إِنْ أَهْلُهُ ثَابِتُونَ عَلَى الْحَقِّ لَا يَتَقَلُّبُونَ كَمَا هِيَ إِبَادَةَ أَعَادَةَ أَهْلُ الْأَهْوَى So Ahl al-Sunnah, they stay firm on the truth.